live, live and direct, live and direct, live. I got 15 minutes with y'all, should I? Yeah, I do. I realize five. My break is not that much, honestly. I'm feel offended. I was looking at the largest ethnic population in the United States. Of course, they have whites, Hispanics, and black, and Asians, but they don't have Africans. You know, because you know I'm African, like real, like they don't have that. Like they don't even have us as a category. Like, we don't even exist. They're making it seem like niggas don't even exist. It's always the same result. They think African Americans and Africans are the same. See the racist shit that be going on? But yet they, they managed to separate our Hispanic brothers from us. That shit is retarded. All because they speak a different language. Hey, we the same people, we just speak different languages. If we going to do it like that, I was trying to make a point. What am I supposed to put? What is the population of Africans from Africa? Blacks from Africa and the United States? That's retarded. Anyway, I was trying to make a point, but uh, let's. Because I was watching some. Um, hold on. Feel me? This beautiful thing about this, I can pause it and come back to it. But I'm going to let it record. We're going to let it run. Um, Hold on. Amazing. When I ask the question of the highest educated ethnic group, when you ask for the um, the highest population in the United States, they give you black, they give you white, Hispanic, and black, then Asians, respectfully that order. But when I ask for um, the highest educated ethnic group in the United States, Nigerians are the most educated group. In, like you, you, you acknowledge that. Like you feel me? Maybe contradicting himself too. Nigerian Americans. That shit is crazy. B. How come you can't put us over? Now, I mean, shit like that. Like Google, you gotta ask Google so many questions. If you're gonna do the research, you gotta do the research is gonna take time. But as you can see today, it's a gray sky. They fucking up my internet right now. They don't even want me to do the research. It's like this nigga thinking too much. I'm not thinking too much, I'm trying to make a point. I'm trying to show y'all niggas something. Because I was watching a show. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get back to that show because I want to get this done right. So Nigerians, people from Nigeria, which is in West Africa, have the highest. Chill, chill. This is not separation, man. They have the highest. This is when we say ethnic group. This is excluding black and uh, the African American and whites. You know, this is this just ethnic group. Everybody else that came afterwards. Nigerians have the highest. Um, So which ethnic group is Asian has the highest educational attempts attentment of any race they keep changing who's the most ethnic? Nope.
a simple question who is the according to rice university research nigerian americans are the most educated group as a group but then it's another question that said which ethnic group is the most educated in the united states it's the asian americans has had 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 the mo had the highest educational at 10 men of any race whatever that means had which is past tense most successful race that's what it's all Bye, hater. The research is all over the place, though. All right, so basically, basically, I was trying to make a point. But black women also, according to this research that I'm trying to get, black women are also the most educated. Stop playing. Black women are the most educated group in the United States. Black women are the most. Let me show you niggas. So, you know, okay, this shit is made up. I can't even see it on the camera. What's going on with this blurry shit, man? What's going on? Okay. Yeah, black women are the most educated group in the United States. Then, when it comes to Nigeria, when it comes to the ethnic group, Nigerian Americans, I was trying to make a point, you feel me? This is not even a point I was trying to make, but I was watching a show today. It's about time, damn, niggas gave me some fucking light, man. Fucking racist ass. Technology. So motherfuckers. I gotta beg these niggas to give me some color. You know a nigga dog. You gotta get this cameras. I was watching a show called The Roommates. I haven't subscribed to it. I occasionally go to it once in a while just to see how it's going. Just to see. Candace Owens brought that to my attention. So I was like, right, I'm gonna check it out and see what is going on. And I was watching the show and they said the biggest problem, it's a, it's a YouTube, it's on YouTube by the way. It said the biggest problem with men today. And the guy on it was talking about how he was, I'm an immigrant too. Well, not really an immigrant, but I'm an American citizen. I grew up in Africa had, from the age of one all the way to the age of like 17, 18. So I came here when I was already a teenager. So I consider myself some form of an immigrant because I still got the African line of blood. It's not like I'm a, I'm a first generation American, technically speaking, because of the paperwork and everything else. So um, he was speaking about um, the problem with men What's the topic? What's the title? The title said the biggest problem with men today. And he was talking about how he's an immigrant. The person who was hosting, he's a Hispanic. The person who was hosting or interviewing him was a Nigerian. And they was talking about how they when they came out here, they work hard, da da da. And um Well that's what the Hispanic guy was saying to the Nigerian. And I guess there was an agreement because he didn't disagree with it. You dig? So, you know, I didn't agree with I mean, although he was well. He, I agree with what he was saying, but not the um, not the overall picture of what he was trying to say. He was basically saying, "Look, uh, that the hard work pays off, and um, that um, if you work hard and everything else, you can get to um, you can get to accomplish what you need to accomplish." But complaining and pointing the finger that this is this this is this person's fault and this is that person's fault, it's like. Um, it's not it's not it's not construct it's not constructive it's not conducive and I, I agree with him on that fact but it's like when you start speaking like that it's like you saying us against them you feel me so i took offense to that at the same time too because although i am african by blood which i am african by blood you feel me and i never deny that even though people try to call me american and everything else like that because they say oh you american you act like american and everything else i'm like yo i'm the only the only the only thing that makes me an american is the paperwork that says that oh just because i was born in america 
doesn't make me an American. If you understand what I'm saying, because my parents technically are not technically, my parents are African. So I'm still African. I haven't been removed from Africa. I, I, I lived in Africa, what, for 18 years? So technically I'm still African, but I resonate well and I understand my African Americans who have been here for um, 500 to 600 years. You feel me? So if anything, they are not African anymore because they've been removed. They haven't gone back home for that long. So it's like, you know, I always got to differentiate the two because there's a difference between the two. One a person hasn't been home for that long in that many centuries, you feel me? It, take, it takes away a lot from that individual and everything else like that. So it makes that person a different race. You understand what I'm saying? That's with every other race too. Because every other race, according to science, came from Africa, right? So if a black, if the African American, quote unquote, which I call the black American, has not been away from home from that long period of time, technically speaking, they are a different race now. Just like every other race, like an Hispanic race, or the Asians in Asia and everything else, or the white people, or the Middle Eastern and everything else, because according to science, everybody came out of Africa. So eventually, after a long period of time, if it, look at me, when you look at me right now, and you look at an African American, you can see there's a, di there's a difference between the two. You understand? They, you can tell that they've been changing over a period of time. You feel me? Because of the mixing and everything else. Although they kept the same complexion as me and everything else, the um, the features, the nose, the eyes, and everything else has changed because they're a mixed race. Sometimes you can't even tell. Look at. Let's take a look at Tiger Woods itself. Let's take a look at um, Kobe Kids. Let's take a look at Steph Curry and all these people. Like, you feel me? The black community is very diverse. What I'm trying to say is that, look, what I'm trying to say, what was I trying to say? Oh, they're trying to say the hard work and everything else, that they complain and everything else, but I want people to understand that we came from a land where we was already free, you feel me? Most, most of us was already free, you feel me? So I just wanted to, the highest educated ethnic group in the United States are Nigerians, right? So I'm going to ask Google, when did Nigeria gain its huh, gain its independence? You feel me? Because technically speaking, the African American is a group that has not gained its independence yet. You feel me? Nigerian achieved independence from the United Kingdom 1960. In the 1960s, they gain it. They gain its independence, right? Uh, cool. In 1960, I want to see 1960 in America. Matter of fact, yeah, 1960 in America. Let's take a look at that. You're gonna be very. And this is just off the fly, like, cause I I watched it then. 19 the United States. In a close race, Democratic race, John F. Uh, Kennedy was elected over the Republican. Da da da. Nixon, the youngest elected president. You feel me? That time we still have. We they wasn't even looking at us. Um, what else? What was the 1960s known for? All right. Hold on. In the 1960s, they had the civil rights movement that was going on and everything else like that. You also have the um, Vietnam War that was going on. Chill out, man. Mind your fucking business. I hate people. Please, if you are uneducated, I don't think uneducated people should listen to an educated conversation. It's very, very important that you 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 pay attention to your, uh, your, 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 your level of tolerance. If you can't tolerate something, they don't listen to it. Please don't. Anyway... You had the Vietnam War going on. Hold on. This is when the uh, African Americans were use you sitting, freedom rise, protest matches to fight segregation, poverty, and unemployment. So you have the African Americans still fighting to be recognized for simple rights. Why the Nigerian and other countries in the world, including the Caribbeans and everything else, were gaining their independence at that time. You feel me? So, what I'm trying to say, me as an African, here I am. Before 1960s, I came from, 
my country is Ghana. We already had our independence already before Nigeria. We was the first African country in the world to gain this independence. Apart from Ethiopia, Ethiopia never got into, uh, they were the only African country that never got colonized. So we was naturally the first African country to gain our independence, the Ghanaians, right? Which is my country. So Nigeria, who's the highest educated group, had time to study. You feel me? They gained its independence, freedom from oppression, and freedom to do whatever you need to do, freedom to create what you need to do, freedom to create your own country. The African American up to this day has not had that. It's bad enough we still got to we got to beg the police officers who's supposed to be protecting us not to kill us. You feel me? I always got to include myself with them and everything else like that. You feel me? Up to this day they have not gotten the independent. So when people come to this country like myself and others, right? I cannot be like my country already gained its independent. When I come to this country, I was not oppressed. You feel me? I have gained I have already had a amount of years. I'm talking to my Caribbean brothers, Hispanic brothers, my African brothers too. When you come to this country, do not come, don't act like, oh, we, when you work hard, stop complaining and stop pointing the finger at them and everything else. Understand it. These people are educated too. And I'm like, yo, how, what, what did you learn in school? How can you not see what I see? This, like, this is simple. This is Google. I just took my phone out and Googled this shit. Most of these countries already had the independence, which meaning your parents weren't fighting the same fight that the African American was fighting. We just have, we just, we just have Barack Obama. We just have Barack Obama as the first black president. That was like what? Um, what was that? Like four years ago? That was the first black president. We still, we still don't have a money where we can look at and be like, that's a black person on that money. All this thing help your psychic, you feel me? When you go to Africa, you see nothing but black men on the on their money that helps with confidence building and everything else like that. You understand what I'm saying? You know what I mean? This is very, very, very important. So these people are coming from countries where they see statues of people that look just like them. You feel me? We just had Martin Luther and everything else like that. We can barely even have a statue without these niggas trying to tear that shit down. You understand? This help with the psychic. I gotta even make my way back already, cause this I had to do a quick research. It's very important that I don't think people don't care to understand, cause I hear this all the time. Oh, I don't want somebody praising me, be like, oh, you work hard. That's why you know, nigga. Like I can't compare myself to what they've been through. Look at the country. The reason why we even here is cause of what they have accomplished by building this, even under oppression. You understand? So we can't compare ourselves to them because we already had our independence. We had a country. Why do we even have to come to their country then if we going to compare ourselves to them? You understand? I cannot stand by and act like I'm different and be like, nah, this, that, that, why well, I'm eating off somebody else. I'm eating off them, but yet yeah, I'm, I'm shitting on them. That shit don't work like that. B, we got to stop that bullshit. Like, I have to speak on it. And if I don't speak on it, then I'm a hypocrite. You feel me? Like, it, it bothers me. Every time I hear these, when I hear people talk like that, and I was watching that show, and that's one of my countrymen, and the other guy was my brother from another money who speaks another language. We all the same people, we just speak different languages, feel me? It's like an African speaking African, and a Spanish nigga speaking Spanish, and uh, another one speaking another Haiti, Haitian speaking Haitians, you feel me? But at the same time, we all the same people, we just speak different languages. It just shows the diversity in the language that we speak. But at the end of the day, we are the same people. So the separation only comes from the language that we speak, which is dumb, because in Africa, they can separate themselves the same way. But the reason why they look at us is all the same, because of the pigmentation of our skin. You feel me? That's why people get to separate. One, one is lighter than the other and everything else like that. But in, true, in truth, when you take a look at the African-American, it could be the lightest nigga. It's the lightest individual. You'd be like, how the fuck you black? But these niggas swear up and down they black. So that denounces the notion. Come on, man. Y'all niggas can drive, drive. So it denounced the notion that we are separated because we speak different languages. It's just the color of the skin. It's just shade. One dark shade all the way to another shade. And this ain't got nothing to do with race or anything else. I'm just preaching common sense into the world. That's all I'm doing. You feel me? But um, what was I at? I know I don't have enough time to even elaborate on what I'm trying to elaborate on. 
But truth of the matter, we should not point our finger to them and be like this, this, that, and third. Because at the end of the day, it's like we already had our own country where we had the freedom to think and everything else like that. So when we come out here, we come in out here with a different agenda and everything else. They have a fight that is going on in their own country. This is their country. You have to understand that they've been removed from their land. This is a whole different race. That's why they're not us. Just like any other race, these people change because of the uh, environment that they're in. It changes the structure. You have to look at science itself. Look at my nose. You can tell the nigga from Africa, I got a wide nose and the big eyes and everything else. That's because the place where I grew up at had a lot of heat. So I had to have a big nose to breathe in a uh, second. The African American do not have the same nose as me, don't have the same eyes as me. They look different from me. The only thing that we have in common is the pigmentation of our skin. But at the same time, they are totally different from us. You feel me? Just like the European whites and European. Sometimes they whiter than they uh, or white counterparts. You feel me? Or a white person from uh, South America is different from what you feel me? We have to see the difference in that. Anyway, I gotta go back to work. You feel me? I will talk more on this. I would have taken the rest of the day off to talk about it, but it doesn't make a difference. People get the point already, get the drift. Let's stop blaming our African-American brothers because we are in their country too, you feel me? This is a white and black country and Native American. Let's not forget about the name. Those three, everybody else is ethnic group, you feel me? And we can break it down however we want to break it down. But everybody else is an ethnic group, you feel me? Some, we got the border here, border there, but those three groups are the main groups. Let's stop separating ourselves from them and making it seem like we came out here and we work hard and everything else like that. It doesn't work like that. Let's steady. Let's steady these things and look into it. I know they'd be like, let's look, let's look, let's, they always say, let's learn each other and everything else like that. I feel like we need to learn them more than they need to learn us. That's something that we need to, oh, we need to learn this country more than we, than they need to be learning us. You feel me? Because we are in their country. They don't need to be learning us. You understand? All right. That's it.